my loves thanks for returning so as you know by the thumbnail this is going to be a video on my top eyeshadow palette picks for 2017. I am really excited about doing this video. I really do honestly love all of my eyeshadow palettes so it was kind of hard for me to narrow the picks down because typically if I just really really don't like something I just kind of take it on back to the store. I try not to hold on to a lot of products that I don't like. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I also hope that you all have a very Merry Christmas and the new year is right around the corner. I hope you all have a blessed new year as well. So enough of me blabbering and let's get to my top picks. So the first palette that I have is this one and I know you all are probably not surprised to see this palette because I just kind of go on and on about it in almost all of my videos and this is the Tarte Clay play shaping uh, palette. This palette has all matte eyeshadows and it's basically good for, you know, again, doing your eyebrows, your eyeshadow, you can contour, you can set your under eye highlight, you can just, just about do it all. I like the formula. It's a well-made palette and I am starting to put a dent in it because I just use this palette so much. And again, it stays on sale. I think that you can, if you are looking for the palette, you can, I think Macy's has it on sale for $23 still and Sephora or Ulta, but check one of those three, one of those three places and you're sure to find this on sale. Also, did you all know that Tarte, that they released a, a volume two of this palette and it's interesting because the, they use the same names but the colors are lighter and it's a it's a shimmer palette. So I was thinking about getting it, however, it's $46. I'm gonna watch it very closely and as soon as it goes on sale, I'm going to snag it up. All right, so the next palette is another Tarte palette and this is the Tarte Make Believe in Yourself palette. This palette is I just love it. This, now I'm gonna show it to you and it is very used <laughs> and abused, but these are the colors right here. These colors are so pigmented and they go on like a dream. I'll just swatch one of them for you just so you can kind of see. And this palette as well goes on sale a lot. So if you're interested in getting this palette, um, think about it now what others don't like about this what I've heard others not liking about this palette is that it's all metallic shades and it's just one matte shade and that one matte shade in the palette you can't really use it for your crease or anything like that that doesn't bother me when I'm doing my eyeshadow looks I don't mind reaching for other palettes uh, it's no big deal but that's one drawback that I've heard people say but I think this palette if you're looking for some true metallic colors that are just really going to be me metallic and pop, then this would be a good palette to have. All right, so the next one is the Sephora Pro Pigment. This is the Warm Palette. And I like this palette because it has a lot of neutral and it has a lot of warm tones in it. And it has quite a few... It has a, quite a few shades that you can use, especially if you're if you're a makeup artist and you don't want to go from palette to palette to palette. This palette has a lot of colors. It has mattes, it has shimmers, it has metallics. It also has a topper shade and I believe it's this one. And what I tend to do to get that one to work, this is a color that a lot of people complain, that I've heard some other people complain about, but what I'll do is I'll get my lit and a flat shader brush and I'll put a little bit, I'll get the brush wet a little bit and get some of that on my brush and just pack it on and it goes on for me. This is a really nice palette. As you can see these colors, I mean, you have the brick red, 
reds, the oranges, you have your neutral colors, you have a pretty gold right here. Let me show you how pretty this gold is. Let me swatch it for you. And this one is really soft. Now all of them aren't equally as soft and also I've heard others complain that this palette is too powdery. Um, I would agree with that depending on how you use it. For me, I just kind of tap my brush in on one side and then tap it on the other side and then I go ahead and apply my shadow. So I really didn't run into too much of a problem with it, but let me go ahead and swatch this particular color for you so you can see. And, and that is one of the goals that's in this palette. So this palette is really pretty. This retails for I think 68 bucks on Sephora. And if you're interested, try it out. And remember, if you don't like it, keep your receipt and take it back. So this next palette is a very affordable palette. This is the full i28 eyeshadow palette by bh cosmetics and this palette was really inexpensive i think it may have been uh, between eight and ten bucks and the colors are really bright and vibrant and i find that they go on just as pigment or just as bright as you see them here and you know again for me if they don't i just get out my little lint and i just kind of wet the brush and just pack it on. So let me, uh, I'll go ahead and swatch this blue for you. Okay, there it is right there. And, and that is how that swatches. Now, as far as the cons in this palette, I really haven't heard of any. Most uh, reviews that I've seen on this palette and these shadows, people like it. So if you're interested in a very pigmented foil eyeshadow palette, then you might want to try this one. Okay, so going back to Tarte, this is about, this palette released, I think right at about a year ago. And this is the Tartiest Pro Tarte Palette. I absolutely loved this, love this palette. And look, let me show you the colors in it right here. So you have a mix of, you have the warm tones, you have the nudes, you have some dark purples, you have a black, and you also have metallic shades right here. And these metallic shades are in the same family as the one in this Make Believe in Yourself palette. So these are very pigmented as well. All of these colors are just very pigmented and they go on like a dream. Now, this, um, this palette does have a fragrance to it. And the only thing that I don't like about this palette is before I use it, I have to take allergy medicine because each time I apply it on my eyes, because of the ingredients, it's gonna make my eyes run. But outside of that, this palette is totally beautiful. If you wanna end, if you wanna get just one palette where you can do just about any and everything, this would be your go-to palette because it's got mattes, metallics, and they're very pigmented, okay? So this is the Tartius Pro, and it's got a large mirror as well. So the next palette on my list is the Natasha Denona Lila palette. I haven't had all year to really enjoy this palette. This is a relatively new palette, and I just recently got on the Natasha Denona bandwagon during the recent Sephora sale that they had, and I picked up a lot of palettes. And when I watched the reviews, a lot of people would talk about how well the eyeshadows blend and they practically blend themselves you know yada 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 this 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 well that is absolutely true this here are the colors right here I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this uh, I guess I don't know I guess this color right here I think that they are very pigmented but most importantly see that right there what's most important is that they blend very very well and as far as kick up and all of that it's very 
I don't even think that there is any, which is surprising. I didn't even think, honestly, I didn't think that a palette could be like that, just not have any kick up. But this palette, if you're looking for something that is pigmented, it's going to blend very well and not have a lot of fallout, then you really ought to try really any of Natasha Denona's palettes. I have the Star Palette. I have the uh, one of the purple 28 uh, palette and I have her the holiday palettes and really honestly none of them had a lot of kick up and fall out and things like that and they were all easy to blend just try one out and see what you think all right, all right. so this palette is by Marc Jacobs I received this palette complimentary from Influencer. this is the iconic provocateur palette and this is the one with the purple colors and you get light pinks you get a dark purple you get a hot pink and you get a black with some gold shimmer and these shadows blend very well in my opinion they don't have a lot of fallout the only thing that I've really heard people complain about is that the price that it's overpriced and for Marc Jacobs you know it's name brand so you got to realize that you're going to be paying for the brand but as far as the eyeshadows goes, I think that they're up there with the Natasha Denona shadows as far as this particular palette not having a lot of fallout. I think that they blend pretty well, not as well as the Natasha Denona shadows, but the Marc Jacobs shadows, in my opinion, are very good. All right, and let me see which what I can swatch for you. I'll try and swatch this black one. This is it right here okay and that is really really pretty you probably can't see at that distance but it does have some uh, bronzy gold type of flex in it and it's just really really pretty I've come up with some really pretty looks using this palette all right, so the next one is not a palette. I just had to put these in because I think these came out in 2017. These are the glitter injection uh, glitter eyeshadows and they look like this. I have two colors. Okay, I have like a bronzy color and a red color. And the reason that I wanted to include these is for all of you glitter lovers out there. What is so attractive about these little guys is that you don't have to use a glitter glue. And I don't know what type of ingredients they use to make this stay together or hold, but it is just awesome. Let me go ahead and swatch one of them for you okay and see how well that goes on and that is absolutely no glitter glue and it's staying on I still have some of the glitter on my pinky finger and these are just really really pretty if you're looking for some glitter shadows that you don't have to use the glitter glue you might want to try the glitter injection eyeshadows all right and so my very last palette is the magic by juvia's place this is one of juvia's places palettes and this particular palette is so pretty i have made so many gorgeous looks with this these are some very bright colors you have also mac this color is matte this one and this one and this one and those colors are dark enough to be used as a transition shade you could deepen up your crease oh i'm sorry this is a matte color as well this color down here and these colors you can come up with so many beautiful looks as which i have this palette I think it was $20, $25 or something like this. But Juvia's Place has a lot of sales too. I'm going to go ahead and swatch one of the colors. I'll go ahead and swatch this gold one for you. But these 
shadows are very pigmented as you can see and they're very affordable so if you haven't visited Juvia's Place website go over to her website and check out those palettes if you don't have any you're definitely missing out on a treat well that pretty much concludes my top picks for 2017 if you have any of these palettes and you love them like I do go ahead and let me know down in the comments below if you have some of these palettes and you hate them let me know in the comments below. So until my next video, smooches.